the beginning that you have made me. I was born in Jerusalem. My parents left when I was five years old. And it was always clear to me that I'll come back to Jerusalem. And when I came back to Jerusalem and I married a Jerusalemite, suddenly I realized that maybe I reached Jerusalem, but Jerusalem is running away. The Jerusalem I wanted to live in is not the Jerusalem I was actually living in. The city has ch had changed very dramatically, became so much poorer. Um, the, the, the people have become much more radical. The, the organizations have changed. The city council has changed. I always tell myself, you have two possibilities, either to shut up or to go and make a, ch make a difference, but never to stay home and whine. <laughs> More than a year ago, I decided to run for city council. I quit my job. I took my savings. I put them in stake. And I went to fundraise and to convince people that I was worthy of being in city council. The campaign was extremely hard. I lost seven kilos during the campaign and my hair turned white. <laughs> but we succeeded and I joined another group and 17,000 people voted for us and we got two members of city council. I started really advocating and being active in social change organizations at Green Course. As a student, I was very active in uh, debating. And one day someone came up to me and said, you know, if you know how to sp speak so nicely, we're organizing this uh, advocacy uh, group, lobbying group, that will go lobby at the parliament against this very dramatic highway that they're planning, highway number six. I didn't really know what, my, what I think about this highway, but I said, I'll go, I'll join, I'll see. Suddenly I realized how much unjust there is in this road, how it always, the roads always go through the weaker neighborhoods, how these very fast highways are expensive, there is no public transportation on the highways, there is not, not enough budget going for public transportation and too much going for these highways for private cars. And the more I studied it, the more I realized that this is what bothers me. Later on, I became active also for the railway from Jerusalem to Tel Aviv, which was an extremely successful campaign. We met with the Minister of um, Transportation as a group of students, and he said, fine, who are you representing? We said, oh, all the Jerusalemites. So he said, really? So he said, sure. So he said, okay, if that's the case, please bring me 10,000 signatures in two weeks from now. If you do that, I will sign the contract. So for two weeks, we were standing out there throughout the city, having people sign 10,000 signatures. Fortunately, he was busy enough to postpone the meeting in a week, so we had three weeks to do it. There we, we came in with the television and the radio and the press, and everyone was there, and he signed the contract right there. And he declared that we'll have that, ra that railway. Obviously, it's taking a long time, but we have at least part of it. <laughs> And then I think that was, the, that was the point, the turning point, when I realized that on the one hand we can make huge change and if you're really very active and if you really want to make a change and make a difference, you can. But at the same time I also I was frustrated because we were standing for three weeks out there in the sun trying to convince people, signing these, you know, as many, um, having as many people possible sign. And he was in his office, and all he needed to do at the end of the day was sign the signature in the right place. And he didn't need to work so hard, and there he was. And he was in the place where decisions are taken. I think that's when I started to realize that working outside of the system doesn't really work. I mean, it's fine, it's good, we need people working outside of the system. But then, at the end of the day, the real challenge is to go into the system and to try to um, influence from the inside. Who will be in the parties? Who will be the decision makers? All of the good people are going into social change organizations and we're neglecting the politics when actually at the end of the day, thank God we live in democracy. And the people that decide what's going to happen in our country and all the different fields at the end of the day are politicians. They're the people that we went on the day, the, the day, and voted for them and gave them our vote and our respect and our uh, belief and they went and they took it and they're supposed to go and do the right thing for our society and if we neglect that field 
we're actually neglecting democracy and we're neglecting our, our society.